long story short, I've been lost for the last hour, hour and a half. Uh, my battery's almost dead, so I've been in flight mode. I've It's just turned 7.30 a.m. in here in Thailand. It's a very overcast day. I've got my basketball jersey on. I know it's completely irrelevant, but I'm gonna go to the sports bar and I'm gonna go get some breakfast and head there now. This is actually what a breakfast at uh, all the buffet in Thailand looks like. We've got the omelette homemade. Got the, the waffles, the bacon, and the potatoes. I think there's some cold potatoes. But yeah, I'm gonna tuck in now and enjoy it. I actually didn't realise how far this place was. So I'm literally walking. I probably missed about the first quarter, maybe yeah, maybe the first quarter. So I should be there in the next five to ten minutes. Hopefully I don't miss too much. We made it to the sports uh, to the sports bar it's called the All American Sports Bar in Bangkok. Um, it's probably about 15, 20 minute walk to Centre Court and I've literally just missed the first quarter so now I'm here for the rest of the game. Pretty anticlimactic, we got the final seconds, I expected the, the pub to go crazy but it was at what is it? I think it's a half nine in the morning. So now, right now, I'm just going to head back to the hotel and get a gym session. Just got into the gym and what we're going to do today is just a quick shoulder and arm session. No longer. Time. Literally about halfway through my work and I'm ready. Soaking wet, you'll never ever find me sweating like this in the UK. It's just this heat of Thailand has really got to me. And just a quick tip on the last exercise. I see a lot of guys kind of use their knees and just help them get leverage, but that's like half repping it. I personally wouldn't recommend that. Your arms should just go up. Nice vertical degrees. Twist your wrist at the way up, twist it back down. Just abducting your shoulder. Don't go too high, don't go higher than the shoulder. That's it. And just like that, that's my first workout complete in uh, solo in uh, Thailand actually. And just as you can see, all I've done was um, use the barbells and I also use the Z-bar. Now, what, most important thing, now is time to go and get a protein shake straight off that workout. Absolutely exhausted. That's it, come, let's bring on the rest of the day. So for my post-workout shake, I picked up a Hara protein shake lactose free, which is only 45 baht at the local 7-Eleven. After yesterday's, yeah, after last night's adventure in Khao San Road, I wanted to come and check it out during the day, but what it actually looks like is, it actually just looks like it's just a normal road. There's literally nothing going on. There's because uh, it's a it's an absolute contradiction from um, the night. The night you can literally hear music of all types of genres coming from everywhere. Whereas this right now, it's more of like local shops, and it's so different. I don't know if you could see what's going on, but just a little store. Slightly disappointed to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot easier 
But it is what it is, it is what it is. I've walked down um, Susie Walking Street, and yeah, as you can see, shutters everywhere. And um, yeah, nothing, everything's closed. Whereas, yeah, this place was pretty popping last night. I walked through here yesterday. It's completely different. Different vibe. So we'll see what happens when we come to the end of it. Nice little stores. But it's, it's interesting. It's completely, completely different. Instead of all the tourists coming out. I've literally just gone for a little wander in Cal San Andreas there. I've tried to go off the streets. There's a little river nearby and I tried to just find the coast, but it's difficult to get to the coast. It's literally just started to rain, which is kind of refreshing because it's absolutely boiling. I just hope it doesn't get too heavy anytime soon because I'm literally open. There's a bunch of trees around me. But other than that, I haven't really found anything. Literally just yeah, just taking it by turn by turn, street by street, just trying to find something really. It started pissing down so I had to make a run for it and just come to the closest place I could find and just set up camp for a little bit. But as you can see, I'm absolutely soaking. Now that it's stopped raining, what the plan is, I'm going to walk to the Grand Palace, which is about... It says, Google Maps says it's about 20 to 30 minute walk, so I'm going to walk there. Hopefully I don't get caught in rain as well. So we're going to head there and get some images. I'm not quite sure what building that is, but it looks very interesting. It's very... Looks like it says uh, Supreme Court actually, so... It's very interesting. Looks like a, a political building or some so I've literally just realized that I was actually walking on the wrong side the wrong road I was walking down the road which had a canal but now I'm just walking down this path we're just past uh, uh, the Supreme Court building just uh, uh, a road off that it's gonna take me straight to the Grand Palace because what I was thinking before was one of them buildings before with a uh, grandparents but no not too far Uh, so what I've discovered is this built uh, this uh, Thailand here isn't anything to mess around with and I was walking exposed directly in the sunlight so what I'm doing now I'm gonna avoid that road with the canal and I'm gonna go and do the sensible thing and go and get directly behind the building where there's no sun to put me off burn me or just kill me in any way so hopefully once I just turn this corner now or if I'm correct, yeah, I'm going to turn this corner now and I should be fully protected. And just like that, I'm in the shade for the next... Now I'm in the shade and I'm going to head, just go for a little wander and see what I can find. Just gonna head down there and see what I can get up to. Looks pretty interesting. So it actually looks like I've come across some kind of high street for everything here. But it looks like a lot of locals, it doesn't look like there's any tourists or anything here. So I'm literally just in the local area. Prices look relatively cheap. Turns out the street that I was actually walking through was actually the flower market. And yeah, there's just a whole bunch of people just smelling flowers. It's not but pretty beautiful and very fresh to be fair. I've managed to find a temple by accident. It was just a, it, it was just a happy accident. I've literally just been ro roaming around the area. And yeah, happened to stumble across it. I feel like that was probably the goal for the day. Long story short, 
I've been lost for the last hour, hour and a half. Uh, my battery's almost dead, so I've been in flight mode. I've been trying to grab a. I've been. You could probably see how sweaty and wet I am. I've been trying to grab a grab for, for a while now. But what's basically happened is it's not going to take too long. It's going to take too long. Then my battery's going to die. So what's happened is. I've had a quick two minute grab, then I'm gonna jump in and that'll be my last video. Hopefully I'll get home in one piece and I'll give you an update. What happened there was I was I was riding. No, I, I actually got in a ta I actually managed to get in a taxi with a nice local and he basically get, gave me my I basically managed to get a taxi with um, yeah from someone locally from the area. He gave me a charger as well. And yeah, it basically saved the day. It basically sorted me out and got, got me home safe. Like my hotel's literally across the street now. I'm literally just walking there. But I was so close to being lost in Bangkok without any battery or anything. So, Jesus Christ, can't believe I made it. Need a nap now. We're outside Chicken Bonchon in, uh, where is it, Terminal 21? And we're gonna get some fried chicken. So I saw a blue beer on the menu and it would be rude not to order a blue beer in it so I need to go and take a sip. Oh man, that's like bubblegum. <laughs> well, it's like bubblegum beer. <laughs> Derived. Oh shit, honey. Oh, hot damn. Oh, that's I'm just had a chicken bonchon in Tamil 21 and the fried chicken, which is on this photo right here. That would be like a, one of the best fried chickens I've ever had, and I definitely recommend it. If you ever come, come Terminal 21. It's on the floor of San Francisco, just before Pier 21. Definitely recommend it. Stay, stay clear of the blue beer, it's pointless. It's basically like bubble cum flavored broth. Not worth it. Overall experience, it's a thumbs up from me. After the food yesterday, the the very tasty fried chicken and a bit of the jet lag, I just got back to the hotel and unintentionally passed out. And yeah, and I was that was me for the rest of the night. So basically, oh, but where was I going with this? I can't remember where I was going with this. <laughs> <laughs> Do the outro. Yeah, oh, the outro, yeah, that's where I was going. Yeah, so, and if you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. Just uh, if you want more content about Bangkok and Thailand and my travel, please like, comment and subscribe.